haven't done a video in a long time, so I figured I'd do one. Wiley's doing great. He's getting a little comfy, but it's all right. But uh, this is my 98 Kenworth P800. It's got a 13-speed in it with a Cummins M14 Plus. It's got two fuel tanks. Unfortunately, the fuel tanks are below the cab, and that sucks. You feel it, but it is what it is. Uh, it's got a new 13-speed in it. It's got 390 gears. I could tell you if there were four tanks, but it does a pretty good job. Factory double frame truck. You can kind of see it there. Some old wiring harness is just hanging there. It's got a Century 50 uh, 30 P3. So it's the 30 ton with the, I think, 35,000 pound winches or 30,000 pound winches. Go through the toolboxes. It's got the common forks. It doesn't have the huge fork pack with them. But it gets by. I got two more sets in the side box. My common airline for running air trailers. My common chain box. Excuse me. My chain box. Uh, got half in 10 foot, excuse me, 15 foot bridles. Got uh, two open end 10 footers right here. Got some 10 foot with boundary hooks on there. Got some uh, straight five footers with open ends some 10 foot there's three 10 foot half inch chains there got two my tie down chains which are six foot three eighths chains grade 100 got some 10 foot three eighths and some seven foot three eighths could be eight foot i'm not sure some 21 inch bungees that's the perfect length got some more airlines Gonna take this off put it on the other side where the hand tools are but haven't got around to it this is where the toolbox was on this truck it didn't work good because you're out in traffic on the driver's side which is the most common you don't want that you want to be on the other side where it's safe where you can work on stuff it's got a 50 foot 3 8 airline it's got two i think they're half inches Snack size up they could be seven sixteens two 50 footers it's got some big bridles in there box is a little messy but it's okay got my tail lights did the milwaukee version which is pretty good you got the code 3 m180s for warning light i'm gonna add another switch so i can have a uh, just seam lights come on it'd be nice for backing in dark areas got some lube some random cage bolts angle iron and a hammer right there this box gets used a lot so it's hard to keep it perfect Control box, it's messy, but that's okay. Got some small ratchet straps I can throw in there. A bunch of tank putties, some sealant tanks, some gloves, and a random lighter. Got some new bridles, so I'll wheel them over here with this. This side isn't pretty either. But I got my brake buddy, got a random eight ton snatch block somebody threw in there. right there. I kind of destroyed them with all the hose salt that was gathered up on the back side. I washed all the grease out of them. I got my brake buddy, a pin puller, random snatch block, some new tracks and ratchet set clippers, like one and a half inch ratchet straps for tying shit down. I keep this bungee on here to keep this guy because I got kind of a investment in here for these mechanics and shit. The latch is bad. I replaced it since then, but I opened up and I lost the Milwaukee in the back end. Kind of pissed me off a little bit. We got the Milwaukee M18 seam light. It's a pretty cool light. I'm going to try to get it out without making a huge mess. You can see in there. It fits in there perfect. Got an extra box of nitro gloves. It gets greasy. Axle caps right there, some extra jugs of oil, chainsaw, got the nice Milwaukee fuel in, uh, saws on, got a grinder there, and a one inch impact. This thing kicks ass. The other day I pulled 40 lug nuts off and 40 thimbles to put eight th uh, put 40 thimbles back on, and the battery literally dropped three bars. And 
That's the thing about the biggest battery. This is the 8. I still got the 12, which is bigger. With me. I got some lube. Random oils. Where my hand tools are. Keep it simple. Ball S and K. Got a Milwaukee half inch impact. With an 8.0 battery. I really like the 8.0 batteries. They fit better. They put out a lot of power. They're more compact. They're not super heavy. Get a couple more 12s down the road for the scene line. But for now, it's all 8s and a 12. Oh. Air regulator. It works magic on some of the newer trucks that don't run on 125 PSI. Or say you uh, need to air up the suspension. You can't push 120 pounds from the air compressor straight through the airbag without expecting problems. With this, you can put 5, 15, 20 PSI in a set of bags, like on a tractor section. With the damaged rear axle, you can air up the furthest rear axle. Get that fucker off the ground. Got some common airlines I use. Got more air fittings in there, foot connectors. This box is messy, so don't judge me too much. I got my toe pins there. Got the fifth wheel plate thing. That's greasy, the greasy pin thing. Some uh, master links from 12 ton snatch block. Uh, there's another 12 ton right there. And uh, it's messy, so we're gonna close this box up. Uh, my tall fork applicators, I don't use them a whole lot, so that's why they're in this hot box. There's a random uh, red and round sling in there. A set of two uh, three railers, square length, some big straps, and a uh, seven way plug. Let's see if I can get this open. One handed. There we go. Down here, we got part of the wheel grid. The rest of the wheel grid is in the toolbox. I don't use it, but I have it just so I have to beat me up for some reason. Got the fifth wheel plate, we got the pinnel hitch. Full-time jack. Gotta move this stuff out of the way, but you got a broom handle. You got a measuring stick. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right there. It's really common in Washington to find some random low breeding, so it's nice to know how tall you are. Uh, got the grab pole. The grab poles are so much. I don't know how I live without it. Once I got it, I found a reason to use it on every. Uh, got an extra shovel. Not a whole lot in this box. Uh, a set of three railers. Got a Wiley. Looking all majestic with his hair blowing in the wind. Just full of round swing. And it's a mess. We're going to close it. Got some extra fluid starting fluid. Got some spare common U joints for these older trucks. Extra glad hands, some extra brake lines, fire extinguisher, and uh, some observant pads. Some brake lights, you know, stuff. If I can get a customer going to want me to save their next day, give them that. I try to go the extra mile for them. Uh, on the belly of the truck, I'm not going to climb up there. I don't like it. And uh, a couple of the B&A six gallon. Uh, Four dry buckets. But this is this truck. I'm feeling pretty good. I'll probably do another video. Some of the more the other trucks we have.